my name is George Lemur, and I'm an associate professor of education at UCL School of Management in finance. And I'm also the director of the MSc Finance Program at the School of Management. I came across the trading lab at Interactive Brokers about 11 years ago, and it immediately occurred to me that that would be an excellent addition to the course that I was designing. I teach a course called Hedge Fund Strategies. It attracts a lot of ambitious students. So most of our students end up signing up for this course, even though it's an elective. Right now, I have about 125 students. A lot of them have not necessarily worked in the business, but they're all graduate students right now. We discuss a great deal of the strategies that different hedge fund managers use to try to generate profits for themselves and their limited partners. But equally as importantly for me, it's, it's important for students to develop a, a fluency in everything that is financial markets and to develop a hands-on experience in what it's like to be in the market. So beyond theoretical topics that are taught, I want them to feel what it's like to be in the markets, you know, live the markets with the ups and the downs and tracking the profit and loss, uh, getting a sense of the extent to which volatility could affect their performance to make it even more real, hopefully develop the typical emotions that come with being in the market. So from being excited, uh, almost euphoric on the one end to being uh, scared and concerned on the other. And the IBKR platform basically makes things real. My students tend to check the platform all the time. They want to see how their investments are panning out. On volatile days, they check them probably a little bit more often than normal, but they are engaged and they want to see how everything moves at the same time. I can think of lots of tools that they used, the probability lab, the risk navigator that gave them a very good sense of, of risk management and not just of risk measurement. It allowed them to look forward and, and replicate what a real life risk manager would do in terms of not only, let's say, uh, measuring the bar of the portfolio or deciding where stop losses should be, but also asking the hard questions that begin with, what if? What if you're wrong? What if this happens? What if that happens? So a lot of stories are absolutely remarkable, and I keep marveling at the fact that this all works in part as finding your way, uh, making your way within the complexity of markets and the complexity and sophistication of IBKR's uh, TWS. I can think of students of mine moving on to basically pursuing a dream of working for a hedge fund and having their dream come true. I think what helped them the most was how credible they were when A, they asked for an interview with a hedge fund manager and B, how credible they sounded when they went for the interview. I would say hedge fund strategies would not be the same if it were not for the use of IBKR's TWS platform in class. We are not the only university that has a course on hedge funds, but we are the only one as far as I know, that actually incorporates the real life portfolio management as part of the curriculum. And because we use IDKR, students develop a feeling for things that no amount of lecturing would explain. My advice to faculty members, to professors that teach finance, things related to markets, whether it's derivatives or anything related to funds or a trading focused course, is to incorporate IBKR into the education. That reality dimension, once you put it into the course, into the academic experience, it elevates it. It makes it a lot more credible and it gives students a sense that what they're studying is real, right? It's not theoretical, it's something they could use. I would also encourage professors of, of finance and directors of finance programs to consider running trading competitions using the IBKR platform because it, it allows students to try their hand at markets in a relatively safe way. And the one thing that has always pleasantly surprised me is despite the fact that we are 
when we're talking about paper accounts here, it's amazing how real it feels to students. So you don't get students saying, well, it's paper money anyway. Why should I be too concerned or too afraid or too happy? It's amazing. It feels real to them and it engages them and it forces them to keep up with the news in ways that maybe they would not otherwise. So I, I think everyone who teaches anything along these lines should consider using IPKR.